The first time John McCain ran for president in 2000, uh, he did not win. He lost the primary to George W. Bush that year, but he did make a big impression in that run. He spent the primary riding around in a bus called the Straight Talk Express. He railed against special interests and lobbyists and establishment politicians. He talked to reporters about anything and everything. He was willing to say impolitic things that politicians are not supposed to say. He got a big portion of the political press to basically fall in love with him in the process of doing that. So John McCain didn't win in the year 2000, but he did build up a lot of goodwill in that primary run. And after he dropped out of the race that year in March of 2000, he used that goodwill for the good of his party. He used it to help down-ballot Republican candidates get elected. In August of that year, August 2000, John McCain went to Madison County, Indiana, to campaign for a Republican who was running to fill an open seat in Congress. That Indiana Republican was named Mike Pence. And Mike Pence had lost two previous runs for Congress by that point. In August 2000, trying to get into that congressional seat, he was in a very tight three-way race. And so John McCain's visit to come help him out, this big national profile politician from out of state, that was big news in Madison County, Indiana. The local paper said it was the first time a presidential candidate had visited Madison County since Gary Hart came by in 1984. So John McCain went to Madison County, raised money for Mike Pence, held a rally with Mike Pence. He called Mike Pence a, a very fine candidate who would represent the values of Indiana in the House. And thank you, John McCain. Mike Pence did eke out a win in that race for Congress. Got just over 50% of the vote, got a bare majority, and that's how he got to Washington. And then he spent the next dozen years there. So John McCain and Mike Pence have some history together. And now, Mike Pence is on the Republican presidential ticket with this guy. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. Five and a half years. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. If you're John McCain, bad enough that your party picks that guy to be your presidential nominee, fully a year after he says what he said about you, uh, but John McCain also basically slingshotted Mike Pence into his first congressional seat in Washington. And then Mike Pence rewards him, thanks him, shows his loyalty by signing up to be a running mate to that guy? And to add injury to all that insult, John McCain happens to be in the fight of his political life right now. He's in the toughest primary for his Senate seat that he's ever faced. He's got poll numbers that are terrible for an incumbent who's been in the Senate as long as he has, particularly one from a state as red as Arizona is. The Democratic candidate running for his seat, he'll be running for it in the general election in November. That Democrat has already been pounding John McCain with ads for months, replaying every time that John McCain has had to reaffirm his endorsement and his support for Donald Trump for president. John McCain has paid a painful political price for supporting Donald Trump for president, especially after how Donald Trump has treated John McCain. This week, Donald Trump said he is not endorsing John McCain in his re-election bid for the Senate because he said John McCain, quote, has not done a good job for the vets. Nah, not like Donald Trump has. So Donald Trump says John McCain is not a war hero and he's bad for vets. And Trump isn't endorsing him. And Mike Pence? The guy who got his bacon saved by John McCain in 2000. The guy who arguably owes the start of his congressional career to help from John McCain. This morning on his campaign plane, Mike Pence was asked if he would endorse John McCain. He declined to do so. And that lingered all day. And then this evening, finally, Mike Pence's spokesman, because he has one, uh, released a one-sentence statement, quoting directly, Mike Pence endorses John McCain and Kelly Ayotte in their primary bids. End quote. That's it. Twelve words. Uh, and two of them are Kelly Ayotte. <laughs> John McCain is still an endorser of Donald Trump for president, despite all the indignities Donald Trump and his campaign, even his running mate, have heaped on John McCain over the last year. McCain is still endorsing Trump for president. Why is that? Does whatever math John McCain is doing there make sense? And does it make sense for other endangered Republicans around the country? That's next. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.